All right, we shit. I did it again. <laughs> I did it again. I went to go pick up the power up, and then I hit the left mouse key instead of the E key. I mean, you know, maybe I obviously could go into controls and just change that, but I like feeling like this is a different game in its own right from Marble Blast Ultra. So. Also, hey everybody, what's going on? Oh my god, we'll get back up right here. We're playing Marble It Up! And, uh, I'm currently experiencing Marble It Down. Marble It Down, boy! Alright, we are live. I was in the bathroom for a good while. A while! While I was away, boy, howdy, am I just scrolling through the TikToks, you know? Check out my TikTok. I'm Ryan Sear two 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 on TikTok. So one of these days, I think I'm just gonna get rid of the two for my name. I think once I get enough subscribers, I'm gonna I'm gonna get rid of the two because I wonder if one of the things that people are confused about is like, hey, why is he called two? I'll tell you why I'm called two. It's a dumb reason. Uh, I started really on to kind of get back into social media in like I guess somewhat of a healthy way back in 2017. And I had, a, I had a TikTok, or a, um, an Instagram account around 2016, and it was Ryan Sierra one And then around like 2017, 2018, I made Ryan Sierra 2. And Ryan Sierra 2 on Instagram took off a lot. And then I was like, oh, well, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make kind of everything else online be about like Ryan Sierra 2 because... I have all these, like, this Wattpad account and this Instagram account being about being called Ryan Sierra 2. Little did I know that, like, it really didn't, like, translate all that much. And no one really, like, like, no one, no one really, like, cared. Oh, man. Sorry, I looked down at my messenger just now, and, like, someone messaged me from, like, I think it was high school or college, and I'm just like, what's going on? They're probably hacked. It's amazing, like... It's amazing how many Gen Zers actually aren't on social media. I had a, uh, friend a bit ago, and they were like... Let's see, they must have... They were, they're... Because I'm like a young... I'm the youngest millennial, and they were like... One of the older Gen Zers, pretty much, that's how that works. And they had messaged me a bit ago. This is like a year or so ago, and I'm like, oh my god, hi friend. And I had... I hadn't seen them on TikTok for a while, like their TikTok got deleted or something, and then they messaged me on Instagram, and I'm like, oh, hi, how are you doing? You know, it's a pleasure meeting you here. And then, like, all of a sudden, like, it ends up being like they were hacked, and this is some weird bot, and it's, it's terrible. It's terrible. What, what are you gonna do? I wonder if they're all on UHive. There's like a lot of social medias that have come out recently though that have attracted I think Gen Z, like UHive and Line. It, Line is like the South Korean one. How many people unironically actually have like a Line? That's, that's nuts. People are on WhatsApp too, by the way, which is bizarre to me because I'm like, that's literally still owned by Facebook? Like, you're not special? Like, what the hell? Like, what makes WhatsApp so like intriguing to people? I want to know. Because I don't really see the point in it, you know? Because, it, again, it's owned by Facebook. And apparently it's just, like, a messenger app with your phone number? So I'm like, wait, <laughs> why do people have this? Oh, man. It's literally just a phone number. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. A lot of this level looks the same right now. What the heck? Uh... But no! Because, ah la la. Man, oh... Thank god I accidentally hit the mouse and shit. Okay. I wonder, what's the... What have I normally gotten? Oh no, that was one of the better ones! That's... I got fourth place out of the five. That's cool. Oh, uh, here we go! Sugar Rush! Sugar Rush! Sugar Rush! Sugar Rush! Sugar Rush! 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 Let's see... Oh, goodness me. Oh, goodness me. I'm on a Sugar Rush. Yo, I like old person candy, by the way. I have, like, a, a cream-filled candy called Praline from, like, Lindit. 
Lindit. I mean, I'm sure it's pronounced just Lint, but like I like to call it Lindit and like Lindor or whatever chocolates. I'm on that sugar rush. I'm on that sugar bust. Yo, leave a comment down below if you're a fan of Henry Cavill. I am, so that's good. Yo, sometimes, like, I'm not gonna lie, like, don't get me wrong, like, they're Hollywood actors, they're on their own, they're on their own league, whatever, right? But, like, sometimes I, I do be one, like, you know, I'm like, hey, you know, like, I, I do have a history of having a couple podcasts on YouTube, you know, like, say Henry Cavill, if, you know, if he's feeling a little modest one day, I'm like, hey man, you wanna hop on a, a small YouTuber podcast? Although what's funny, actually, is I actually am not a small YouTuber anymore. I have to kind of get that idea out of my head. I I am not a big YouTuber. I'm not a big YouTuber, but I am medium now. I'm not uh, I'm not small. I'm not, I'm not the little guy anymore, per se. And I say that to just have a sense of noblesse oblige, right? Like, not, not to be, like, arrogant, actually, but to have a good sense of noblesse oblige. So, because it is, uh, it's wild. I mean, you know, because the way that I would rank it, and maybe you could disagree, leave a comment down below. I... I would say that a small YouTuber, so let me start backwards, a big YouTuber is in the range of millions to 100,000. Anything in the billions tends to just be like random one-off viral videos from like music artists or something, but I tend to say that a big is a million to 100,000, and then a medium is 10,000 to 1,000, right? Because it's all about the ones place, right? Like, I'm thinking about in terms of the ones place. So it's like, big is like a million to a hundred thousand. Medium is ten thousand to a thousand. And then small is like a hundred to ten, right? And single digits are, are I would say, are, are minuscule. And I'm insulting myself when I say that because I have a lot of videos on my channel that have like single digit views. And I'm like, <laughs> sad face. But, so, because, you know, I am... I, and I would say that right now I'm, I would say I'm in the range of small to medium. And I say that just because, I say that just mainly because it's like, I gotta kinda not be too, like, not be too off the cuff and loose cannony about the kind of content I make anymore. Gotta take things a, a smidgen more seriously as the ladies say. So. Woo! Woo! Oh yeah, power blast, speed speed. Fuck is power blast? What does that mean? All right. Oh, oh my God! The ice feels even different on this game than on Marble Blast Ultra. The ice on that game moved way too fast. On this one, it almost kind of feels like like mud that's just really slippery. I don't know. Like, and this is this is one of the reasons why I like to actually play games and kind of like talk about them and give them like a weird mini review instead of reviewing them in kind of like a, an isolated academic kind of way, video essay kind of way. Because I'm like, and not that's a shit on video essays. Cause they're fine. But, like, it's just it's such a different experience. Oh my god. I zippity doo -dod. Um, I got 4th out of 5th place again! Look at that! That's cool. On the river. In the middle of the river. I go walking in the night. Let's see. That was not even, like, a good backwards butchering of the Billy Joel song. That was just butchering altogether. Also, holy shit, that song went hard. Like, what even was that song? Oh, now we're back to the cool little, like, drum and bassy song. Woo! Who needs to actually do that when you can just hop to the side? Bro, if I was Spider-Man and I had, like, Spidey senses, I would never, like, actually, like, look anything... I would seldom look at things directly on. I would always... I would try to, as best as I could, to just, like, sense things behind me and just kind of hit them. Oh yeah, by the way, I wouldn't go over here, I would just hop over through that on the other side like so. Um, but what happens was I just can't resist a good checkpoint. And marble it up lo knows how to knows how to put their checkpoints down. They know how to lay down the law of the checkpoint land. So that is what we are all about here. I tell you man, like after after playing so many custom levels, I'm just like I wanna play a real game. Like like you know like game made by actual level designers to be put on, like, the actual paid-for market, not just, like, the Steam Workshop market, which, you know, is fine. And there's lots of good levels that I've played on the custom levels, but there's also ones where I'm like, you could have put a checkpoint here! You could have put a checkpoint here! Alright. 
This is fun. I like I like the just like the roll forward levels. Um, not because they're easy, but because they're like ambient. And ambience is fun. Ooh. Oh my god, yeah. Ooh, I probably should not jump if I'm on the gravity like that. And there it is. After years of searching. The end! What's that butt crack over there? You see that? Okay, is it gonna spin? Is, oh, I can control it! Oh my god. Sort of. There's like a butt crack over there. You see that? Anyway. Next level. Four stairs that won't play. Hey, uh, marble it up. You gotta, you gotta have, uh, kinda... Oh, this one's fun. But hey, guess what? In the next part, fool.